downtown LA. It's the Little Jolly Gamer Show. Boom shakalaka. So the other day, my friends and I were talking about old gaming inconveniences and obsolete tech and gaming. And a lot of times we'll talk to younger generations, they don't quite understand the magnitude of how inconvenient some of this obsolete tech was. So I want to make a short video series about some of this stuff and call it Relics of the Past. Our first episode is going to be about the memory card. Who remembers those? Being able to save your game progress really didn't become a mainstay in console gaming until about the third generation. That's the NES era. And until then, there really wasn't a need to. Games weren't really at the length that you couldn't beat them in one sitting. You know, it was really difficult. Uh, and they didn't really have a depth of storytelling that required such long games. That all changed with one little game called Legend of Zelda. You're gonna die in this game. But thanks to the battery-backed RAM in the cartridge of Legend of Zelda, you could save your game and restart pretty much from wherever you just left off. Granted, it was a little inconvenient, didn't start you right where it was, it still saved your progress. Other games followed suit, like Final Fantasy. There's no way you're gonna beat that game in one sitting unless you just don't have anything to do for the rest of the day. Or days. Before save features became a mainstay in every cartridge, a lot of games like Metroid and Mega Man would use password systems to let you pick up where you left off if you died or if you had to turn the game off. As consoles grew and technology got better, we started to switch to a CD format. And with CDs, you couldn't save like you could to a cartridge. That's why you can save all your games on N64, but you can't save your games on PlayStation unless you've got the memory card. Nowadays, all consoles have hard drives built in by default, and saving your progress can be an afterthought since most games save automatically for you. A lot of games in the 5th and 6th generation of consoles didn't save automatically, especially on the PlayStation 1. Games require you to save in very specific locations, for example, the typewriter room in Resident Evil, or specific save points in Final Fantasy VII. This was really inconvenient, especially if you needed to leave your game in between those points. I can remember specific times when my mom would need me to put the game down for extended periods of time without saving. Alright Brandon, it's time to go to shoe carnival and get some shoes for school. You ready to go? But mom, I gotta get to a save point. I can't just turn the game off whenever I want. I said come on, let's go! Alright, I guess I'll just leave the game running. Just for retrospect, the PlayStation 2 memory card only held 8 megabytes of data. 8 megabytes of data! That is a fraction of what we use today. Now, Nintendo used blocks. What's a block? Apparently one block of GameCube data is roughly about 8 kilobytes. When you're working with kilobytes and megabytes of data, it's really easy to run out of space. Some games took up a ton of data, while others took up hardly any. Animal Crossing on the GameCube came with its own memory card. Because it took up so much space, it needed its own memory card. And if you grew up playing the 5th and 6th generation of home consoles, chances are, if you're like me, you had one of these. That's a memory card bag. Inside this bag is just a, an assortment of random memory cards that I collected over the years because I had to have them to play my games. Unless you wanted to pick some saved data to delete, you were going to have to get an extra memory card, and hopefully one that has more storage space. One thing I used to love about memory cards was the little icons for your saved data, especially on the PS2. They represented your game, and they often had a little bit of personality to them. It made it that much harder to pull the trigger when you had to delete them. And God forbid if you ever had some saved data you could lose. Cause then you really might know what it's like to sing the blues. Cause then you might really know what it's like. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and check out some of the other stuff that we do. Uh, until then, I'll be working on another video about relics of the past, or it'll come out eventually. I'm not sure what the subject matter will be, but I'm sure I'll figure out something. But mom, <laughs> should, I, should I look past the camera or should I look at the camera? Look oh, past I, the past camera. Okay. All right, Brandon. Come <laughs> on, Brandon. It's time to go to shoe carnival shop for shoes for school. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. Time to go to shoot carnival and get shoes in school. God, it. Right. 
That's it. <laughs> <laughs>